welcome back Tina and I've got some really cool things for you today and one of them is national day or month national or, month day so month, either day in there or yeah. whatever whatever we're celebrating this month of June the coolest part is it's something delicious it is this is national delicacy month that means you have like national days of all kinds of food. So Ooh. foodies should love this. And you can look it up wow. on the national day calendar. Yeah. But there's all kinds of fun things in June. I'm a, I'm a, I like it because it says something about seafood or whatever. And right. I'm like, if I see it, I eat it. I <laughs> National Seafood Month and I can't remember all of them but the whole month is month of delicacies right and so go out there and enjoy everything that Ooh, you love to yeah. enjoy and eating and also in June is the summer solstice yes which is the longest day of the year and wasn't it on June 21st yes I think so it's June 21st and so you're gonna Sun's going to come up really early yes. and it's not going to go down till really late. So, so. plan a fun day that day. We oh. also, you know, the scientists around the world always study these days, so th there'll be lots yeah. of in information on the internet. And it does affect you. It affects people's emotions yes. and it affects how they think. So, oh, it's a wonderful day. Well, it really is. Yeah. And it's, you know, so make sure that if you work that day, you can work maybe in the morning. <laughs> so the afternoon, you have even longer daylight. Swim till about 10 o'clock at night and still have daylight. Right. It'll still be there. We don't know how long it'll be there, but <laughs> it is a fun day and it's always in the month of, of June. June. Yeah. And we will be right back. So hold on one second. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. Welcome back. We're so glad you're back. So also in June, don't forget it's Father's Day. This yes. is the day that you want to celebrate your father. Right. And you know, I always tell people, I have multiple people that are father-like figures in my life. So make sure you tell all of them how wonderful they were in your That's life. That's a good idea. I mean, I have uncles and, you know, I have friends of my dad's and I just have a wonderful family. And so yeah. celebrate those dads. And not only that, you get coaches. Right. <clears throat> a lot of times the coaches that you have really make an impact on your life and the decisions that you make. Yeah. So not necessarily your father, but Anybody, yeah. that, anybody, anybody that has made a big been, impact on you. Right, a male that's been a great mentor yes. in your life yeah. and celebrate them because that's coming up on June 16th. Right. So it'll be fun. Uh, you know, when she said that about coaches, I know when I coach track that my dad and your husband and uh, John, there were several right. of the men on there, and I remember watching as the students interacted and the athletes interacted with them and they they responded well with me as well but those guys were really like father well they weren't father figures but they were great coaches like you said right and so i just i really appreciate all of those men in our lives that keep us going coaching make, us <laughs> make an impact on everybody so they do it's really cool and moving on we have another special event going on this is really really cool I don't know if you know it or not, but we have a young lady from Trimble County, Kentucky, who's competing in the Miss Kentucky pageant. Yes, right now. Yes, right? this week. This week, yeah. as we're talking, as we're recording right now. So yeah. hopefully next time we oh. will be able to come in and report Miss Carrington as Miss <laughs> Kentucky. <laughs> so her name is Carrington True, and she lives in Milton, Kentucky. She's been competing in pageants for, I don't know, you know how many oh, years. Years and years. I yeah. think ever, she's, since she was a very little girl and right. she's held multiple t yes. uh, titles yes. throughout the years. My daughter Ashby and her have been in yes. lots of pageants. And together. Together. And it was always right. just whichever year, you know, oh, who's going to do that. So we know she's going to do great. Though. Oh, I think so. I've and been it, watch, I've been following Carrington for a very right. long time and I know she has the confidence yes. and she has worked on her craft. Yes. And I don't know if you know it or not, but, you know, to get to be Miss Kentucky, it's not how you walk, not how you look necessarily. I mean, that is part of it. But you have to know worldly information, right. you know, what's going on in other countries and how that affects our country. You have to be able to articulate when they ask you a question in depth and have the knowledge. And think on your feet. 
Yes. This is funny that she brought this up because when I always do the MC4 Miss Apple Festival, right. I always start it with, please give all of these young ladies a round of applause. Yes. Now, I know that pageants have had some type of negativity behind them over the years. But I think it's because people didn't understand what actually right. went on. It's when not... you go back and you ask yes. an adult that has been in pageants, yeah. and you ask what they learned, I promise you, everybody, it is amazing. Yes. I mean, you learn how to get along with others. Yes. You learn how to be a great winner or maybe one that had to step down a little bit maybe and great. Yeah. you know I mean there's not any losers in it because for the fact of you getting up there and walking on that stage thinking on your feet yes I mean this is live you know this is the best right. practice you're gonna get <laughs> in life I mean it really is Well, it prepares them for interviews later it, does. it prepares them for being a boss or a team leader and or... they think much more about how they come across before yes. they speak. Yes, and and what will happen after they say it. They don't not only they do. look at right now, they look at the later, yes. and it makes a difference. And so. there's girls every year I get to watch, you know, right. um, forming groups and yeah. friends, and I know I've told you before, but we continue those friendships. I mean, I'm still friends with several right. of the pageant moms. I mean, Carrington's family. Yes. Yeah. We all became friends years ago, and you just you do you develop a beauty pageant this is what we used to call it this beauty pageant family yeah and it just it really does teach you so much so if you all are against them think a little bit different try well, to change that thought process yes and start looking at the opportunities yes the opportunities and the things they have to do in those pageants as far as learning worldly news and right. issues that go on you know other countries poverty levels and how it affects us and so they have to they have to really be well-rounded they not, do yeah and there are so. so many people out there that have been in pageants for years I know I'm one of them that helps a lot, great deal of right. people and we have several others so if you're wanting to look into that field you know reach out to somebody I don't know oh, yeah because they will be glad to help you like I said they're like a family oh it'd be awesome so if you want to follow Miss Carrington this week you can look on Facebook and that's Miss Kentucky and then if you want to actually join and look on the website it's misskentucky.org so you can keep up with Carrington and see what's going on but I just think it's amazing that in our region Trimble County is being represented in Miss Kentucky pageant by Carrington True and we are so excited. We are anticipating yep. great results. So good luck, Carrington. We can't wait. Oh, she's going to do amazing things. Look, no matter where she's going to tune going. up on us a little do bit. I, I just think it's cool. It is so you know? cool. It is, and it is as touching as she's. Well, I mean, she's going to make me cry. It's, it's and important we're gonna have because we have kids in Trimble County. You know, the poverty level there. I mean, we have seventy-eight percent qualify for free and reduced lunches. I don't know the percentage, but it is quite it's a very bit. High. Over fifty percent. But if our kids can realize, if you have a goal or whatever you know a dream or a, if you want to have a certain job don't count it out until you call somebody and start asking and checking to see who can help you get there how you can get there right. what's needed and then we make a list and if you want to call us we can we have resources yeah we'll make a list here's what you need to do here's how you need to go about it do not throw away an opportunity yeah because you do have opportunities. Yes. And, you know, because she did get a little sentimental oh, on us, I'm just going to say <laughs> that it is a difference. When you are from a small community, yes. you have people like Debbie and I and your uh, principals, your teachers. Yes. They know you on a first name basis. Yes, they do. And they want nothing more than for you to succeed at what you want to do. Right. And that was one of the reasons but when I taught the small school that yeah. I loved that part is yes. that I knew my students. I knew right. their family. I knew if I needed to call someone, I could. And, right. And they would step up. I've never had one person in this community not step up if I ask them But, to. you know, they don't know what you want unless you tell them. I, I know with my son, they didn't think he was going to go to college. So they didn't, they did not suggest he take college courses. And when I saw his agenda for the right. year I was a bit irritated so I went to the school and I said why doesn't he have college uh, classes to prepare well he's not going to college I said who said right well we didn't think I said that's the problem right 
they don't think. You have to tell them right. what to think. And that's not a bad thing. No. Listen, that's just human nature. Yes. Yeah. Like you we have don't to. know how to help you if right. you don't ask. So if if you're not telling them all the time that you'd like to be a nurse or you would like to be, you know, in, into catering or if you want to make confections, they do not know it unless you tell them. Exactly. Once they know what you want to do, then you can start opening the doors and find the resources that you need in order to do that. Mm -hmm. So by all means, speak up. Yes, definitely. Ask oh. for what you want. We're going to talk about that in a oh, minute. Yes. But definitely ask for what you want. And especially in our small community, we are honored. I feel honored I, I every time I get to help somebody in yes. our community. Uh, it makes me, I'm, I get all excited and it, it doesn't really benefit me, but when I see their eyes light up right. and they go, wow, I can do that. Yes. Okay, I'm good for probably two or three months. I don't have to. In science, we call those light bulb moments. <laughs> yeah, I love those. I love to see it on their face when they get a light bulb moment. Right. Well, make sure you speak up and we'll be right back after this message from our sponsors. Looking for that special gift for your favorite outdoor enthusiast? Or for yourself, you'll find it here. DG Power Sports has all your outdoor sporting supplies and parts. We're located at 10390 Highway 421 North in Milton, Kentucky. We're just two miles from Madison, Indiana and only a short distance from the Dirty Turtle Off-Road Park and Dakota Racetrack. We are open Tuesdays through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I am Darren Gross. Thank you for your support and I look forward to seeing you. Welcome back. So what is the flower of the month? It's a rose. It's a rose. I was so excited when I learned this, when we were looking this up. So in June, your flower of the month. I didn't even know we had flowers of the yes. month. Yes, and she didn't know they had meanings. I didn't. <laughs> and so your flower of the month is the rose. Yes. So Debbie's going to tell us maybe a couple of the meanings of the colors, but there were several. Yes. I'm not going to tell you all of them. Every color has a meaning. It does, especially but, in roses. Yeah, but if you guys out there, just the, just a note. If you really love her, give her a red rose. If you just want to be friends, Give her a yellow rose. Right. And don't give her white roses. Yeah. That's no. not a good one. I don't think that would be a good one. No, that's not a good one. Now, if but look it she up. loves it, there is something you have to remember. Well, yeah. All those guidelines, if she, um, I would prefer. If she prefers a white rose. Right. And I would prefer a pink rose, even though it has a different meaning than right. the red rose. So just if she likes a different color, then you can go with that. But if you're just getting to know her, I look up the meaning <laughs> yeah. of roses. Yellow ones are best if you're just getting to know them. But <laughs> you know, and, and even too, you you might want to check out if your girlfriend knows the meaning of the roses because if she's been used to getting flowers a lot, she probably knows the meaning of each right. rose. So check it out before you hand her one. And then that way you don't make a misstep. And definitely don't forget women, men don't Any, know. <laughs> they love flowers too. I know that. Yep. I've sent roses to my husband. I, I will admit, I've mostly sent balloons. <laughs> Just because I like for him to have to walk across a plant with a balloon. <laughs> so everybody but sees it. <laughs> the truth of the matter is he loves roses as well. Right. So you can, anybody can send you roses. Right. And it's beautiful. It, it, it is. It's just amazing. Oh, I love them. Now our next one is customer service. We have <gasps> noticed. <laughs> Here we go. We have noticed that it's not quite what it used to be when we were younger. And I know things have to change and we talk about all the time that we have to be forward thinkers and we have to evolve so we don't be like dinosaurs and die. But there are some things that should never, ever go by the wayside, and that is customer, customer service, service in the appropriate way, you know. In any appropriate way. <laughs> so well, right now, we're in, I feel, I do feel this way, and I don't normally bring out those things, but right now we're kind of in a customer service, in my opinion, oh, epidemic. Uh, it, it's kind of... The lack of, of appropriate customer service. Right. You know, and... and I, I have to say, I love the guys at one of the restaurants we go to up here. When I go through the drive through the person on the microphone is polite. The person at the first window when you give them your money is very polite. And the one where you pick up your food is very polite. They understand 
a smile, a right. thank you, how are you today? Oh, it's good to see you. Yes. There's those are so important, but I think sometimes the employee employer mm -hmm. is pressed for time. Sure. And they don't take the time to teach them to those educate things. on customer service. But you know what? She can come in and do it for you. I can. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want, if you need somebody to help with customer service, give Tina a call. Call here at the office, and we'll get her in touch with you. And there's other things you can teach them besides just smiling. Right. You but know. we want to start with just the very beginning is a smile. <laughs> a smile goes a really long way. Yeah. People do read your body language. Yes. I know that I'm always talking about something kind of a little bit different or hippy dippy, but the truth <laughs> of the matter is, when you drive up to a place or you sit down at a restaurant if somebody walks up like this can I take your order please oh. no uh, first of all it's well, just not good energy for you either right so take that and put a smile you know yes. when I was teaching in our classroom we had a garbage can this sat on the outside now you're thinking customer service and students but I taught them yes. customer service in the classroom as well. It's a respect. And so we took our garbage or our bad emotion and feeling, and we would put it in that garbage can before they walked in the room. Because right. we're learning something new today. Right. Well, the same with your job. Now, this has been the funniest question multiple times. Well, Miss Tina or Miss Drake, it doesn't matter because I work at McDonald's and this is just oh, yes, a high does. school, you know, this is a high school job and, and I just, I'm not worried about it. I don't care what they think of me. It follows you. Oh, yes. It well, follows you everywhere. If you want... I go through the drive through Yes. Now you come to me for a job and no. I just saw the way you acted back there. Exactly. Plus, you affect that business. Exactly. Do you want more business to come in so you have a job? If you want you need a, to be nice. Right. And if you want a better job, if it's if it maybe that job's great for you right. and you want to keep it, you want to have a good customer service. Yes. You know? And if you don't deal with customers all the time, when one walks in, <laughs> make sure you have in the back of your brain this little coffee talk, okay? Right. Make sure you have, oh, I need to smile. Because probably if they've never seen you, right. They're going into a new business as well, and they're a little bit nervous. I know she's helped me quite a bit because I would walk into a business, and if they didn't talk to me and I needed something, I would turn right around and walk out. And I would say to her, yeah. I, I didn't like the way they felt. I didn't like the way they just looked at me like I didn't know what I was doing, or and I didn't. I'll be honest with that. And she didn't. And all it took was... But no one stood up from their computer nobody. or came out from behind the counter to ask her a question. May I help you? That's all they had to have said or looked at her and said, may I help you? They did not do that and they no. almost lost the business. If I hadn't talked to her, they would have lost that business and then she would have gone and told somebody else, go over here instead. So you've got to really think about that. If right. somebody walks through your door, you get up and you say, can I help you? Right. And, I, and I'm not saying every day you have to be the bubbliest like me. I mean, I'm pretty well, bubbly every day, but when you're at your job, that yeah. is you. That right. is what you're leaving behind. Right. And, yes. and it really is important. Oh, and my grandmother always told me, now I know people aren't like this anymore, but she always told me, they don't care what kind of day you're having. They need you to take care of them right now. So you need to just put back, if you wreck the car, you wreck the car. That That's not going to affect their right. business. So you have to go in and smile and, and treat people with respect and forget about the fact you wrecked the car. Right. And I was like, that's oh, true. She's Both right. sides. Yeah. yeah. We she's right. Thought about that. Because I can't burden them with the issue that I wrecked right. the car. They want to get in and get their business done and get out because they've got other issues to take care of. They may have wrecked their car and they're on the way. Right. So you got to you got to separate personal and business and that's hard to do sometimes. Sometimes. But you have to remember you're you're there representing that company and mm -hmm. yourself. And yourself. That's oh, yeah. very much so. Yeah. We're going to keep going on this. So not today, but we yeah. will be back with we'll more customer different. service yeah. tips. Because there is things we know you want of great life. And we yes. want to help you get that. Yeah. But now we're going to move right on to Live Love. She's got some cool so tips excited. about that. She's I've always been, excited. I know. <laughs> I've been reading new books this week. And I got to thinking about the law of attraction. And we're always talking about whatever you put out, you, you get, get back. back. You know, and then and explaining how that energy works. Yes. 
But then what about when you walk up in a group and everybody's in a bad mood? Well, I usually just turn around and go away. <laughs> but you do have to kind of step back, and this is a little more deep than what we've been talking about. Yes. But I did this about a couple of weeks ago, and I walked into an area, and these were people I wanted to be with, so it right. wasn't like a, a group or anything of work or business. It was a group I wanted to be with, and everybody just felt, Ugh. you know, you just feel a tension oh, and a stress. Yeah. And then I came back, and I thought, why did I attract that into myself? And it worked. It was, I was like, what was going on? And it was. My brain, in my back of my brain, was maybe some little negative comments. And I thought, well, oh, I bet so-and-so is not doing well today or not having a good day right. or, or she's going to say this or he's going to say that. And I was. I was attracting the negative energy into myself. Well, you know, I have, on the other side of that, I had a friend when I was really young tell me that if people are saying ugly things or negative things, you just turn and walk away in the middle of their sentence. It won't take but three times you doing that, and when you walk up, they'll automatically switch to talking about something positive because right. they have been trained without saying a word that you don't want to hear negativity. Yeah. So when you walk up and they start telling a story you don't like or talking about somebody, just in the middle, just turn and walk away. And in three times, they will stop when you walk That's up. That's interesting. They will all change their, their vocabulary or their tone, and it will be different. So and it works. So if you find yourself in a situation such as that and walking away works, or if you just find yourself in a situation you're thinking, how did I get I into this? Think or positive I did not, on the way up. Right. And most <laughs> people always say, well, I didn't attract that. I didn't attract. You did. Yeah. And so step back and ask yourself what you were saying or right. thinking before you went into that group situation right. or before you walked up. You know, were you expecting? Right. Uh huh. I mean, how, we have friends. We have mutual friends that oh, yeah, we you have kind of expect them. You know. They're going to yeah. say something that uh, isn't going to be maybe what you want to hear that right. day. And so why did you attract that? And that's, you know, your little live love lesson today. And don't forget to send a lot of love to everybody. Oh, yes. And as always, we greatly appreciate you all watching, and we are very grateful to our sponsors that help us bring all this together for you. So, have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget, have a lot of fun.